everybody. Welcome to my bedroom. So uh, you can see we keep it pretty sparse. Uh, you probably saw that from my living room and my kitchen too on my other videos. But today I'm going to be talking about how once I went gray and or silver, which is really what I am, I think of myself as silver. Once I went silver, I had to change up everything else in my style, in my wardrobe, in my color palette, my makeup. I started paying more attention to what I put on my skin. And of course, I needed to change up my jewelry and the color of my clothes. So today I'm going to be talking about those two things. Not style, because that's going to come in a later video. But this is just simply about the color of my clothes and my jewelry. So I used to wear gold jewelry. I can't even fathom putting gold jewelry on today. You can see I, I sort of went a little bit overboard. I mean, this is sort of too fancy, this necklace, for what I'm doing today. But I wanted you guys to see now I am really bright, brilliant silver or nothing. But gold is just not the right color palette for me at all. So, you know, I got these earrings the other day, which I like, and I'm trying to go bigger as well. So this is a huge step for me. This ring is huge. I would usually never wear something so big. But I'm trying to not just go silver with all of my jewelry, but to really go bigger. So my jewelry makes more of a statement. Here are some other earrings that I love. I love these big hoops. I love them, I love them, I love them. I've got these guys too. I love them, I love them. So uh, I'm just trying to go bigger and silver. Now with my clothes, I used to wear black. I lived in it. Black I thought was slimming, it was sort of stylish, it was uh, sleek and young, and I would not be caught dead in black today. Except if I'm wearing my faux leather vegan black jacket. Okay, so that's got a style all onto itself, and if I'm going for kind of the biker look, which I do every once in a while because I ride on the back of my boyfriend's bike, uh, okay, so black has its place in time, but even when I go to a dressy event, I try not to wear a black dress, despite the fact that it maybe makes me look thinner. It also makes me look dead as dirt, so black is out for me. And things like taupe or things that have no color, they're too earthy, too pale, those are out as well, so any sort of off-white is no good. But anything that's really crisp, like a brilliant white, or get this, I can wear steel gray. That's a great color on me. Even heather gray, great color. But more than anything, it's bright colors. Purples and reds and bright pinks and turquoises, all of these things really just help me to come alive. And I have to say, it's been super fun to leave black behind. Like black is so like, no, I'm not doing that anymore. It's a drag, it's just negative, it's, you know, it's a bummer. And so it's really a thrill, and I never would have worn bright colors before. But it's a thrill to be in bright colors. I just feel like it brings a lot more energy and sunshine to my game. So people already tell me that I have a lot of energy, and I guess maybe this is true. Uh, so I really like to match that up with some bright colors. And when you look at my closet, like how it used to be all black, huge difference now when I've just got color, color, color. But you don't want to embarrass yourself by not pulling off the right style. So a lot of it just depends on you and your comfort zone. I know um, I've taken to wearing orange pants. Yes, I have. I have a pair of orange jeans that I love. Uh, so, you know, there's some fun styles you can uh, really shine. And, uh, of course, a lot of it is your mental tood that you bring to the style. But you guys already know that. So uh, I think I hope you enjoyed my last couple of videos. I was saying how nobody ever talks about that you just might rock your game better at silver or gray. I know that nobody talked to me about how many people would approach me and say like, wow, you look good, or wow, this is stunning. Young people, old people, doesn't matter, doesn't matter what sex, doesn't, doesn't matter. All walks of life stop me on the street. So there are a lot of positive things, not just the fact that you're no longer dyeing your hair, Sweet Jesus, we don't want to be doing that anymore. But also just people around you notice like, wow, girl's got a new game. And that's super fun. So uh, until I see you guys next time, thanks for watching. Please send me your tips. I'm still trying to work on the hair. So I haven't quite figured it out yet. Help me, baby. Help me. Help me get a new, I don't know. i got to change up my hairstyle. I'm still working on that. Uh, I've been toying with straight long hair. I know that's like all the rage now. Everyone's doing straight, sleek, long hair. 
just doesn't really look good on me but okay so I'm still trying out the hair thing so keep me posted on that and anything that you guys are doing if you've got color tips for your clothes and if you've got jewelry tips of course send them my way it's always an open dialogue thanks for watching people and don't forget to be vegan for more information you can find everything I do yep on iTunes yep on YouTube so right here this YouTube channel subscribe subscribe and then of course my website elizabethalfano.com and Elizabeth is spelled kind of funky so it's E-L-Y-S a-B-E-T-H-A-L-F-A-N-O.com. See you there, folks.